Have you been diagnosed with atrial fibrillation? The first thing you must know is that you're not alone. Atrial fibrillation is the most common heart rhythm disorder in the world, with over 5 million people affected in the United States and nearly 60 million affected worldwide. Hi, my name is Mehek Dande, and I'm a cardiac electrophysiologist. In other words, I'm a cardiologist who specializes in treating heart rhythm disorders. In this video, we will talk about what atrial fibrillation is, what symptoms it causes, what complications it can lead to, who is at risk, and how it can be treated. We will discuss each of these topics in detail in subsequent videos. So what is atrial fibrillation? Let's take a look. Atrial fibrillation, or AFib, is the most common heart rhythm disorder, affecting about 2.7 million people in the US and 60 million across the world. When managed correctly though, people with AFib can continue to lead a long, active life. AFib is caused by chaotic electrical signals which make the upper chambers of the heart, the atria, quiver instead of fully contracting or beating. This can cause the heart to beat up to four times faster than normal, which can feel like a fluttering in your chest or palpitations. This can cause blood to pool in the atria, which can allow a clot to form. If the clot dislodges and travels to the brain, it can cause a stroke. AFib can also lead to heart failure or fluid buildup by weakening the heart muscle. If AFib is not treated, the condition can worsen and may result in more frequent and longer episodes to occur. When this happens, it becomes harder to treat AFib. Having medical problems like high blood pressure, sleep apnea, or diabetes can put someone at greater risk for developing AFib. But, even people committed to healthy lifestyle and with no other medical problems can develop AFib. Symptoms include feeling tired or having little or no energy, a fast or irregular pulse or heart palpitations, shortness of breath, pain, pressure, tightness, or discomfort in the chest, dizziness, lightheadedness, or fainting. However, some patients may exhibit no symptoms at all. AFib is diagnosed by taking an electrical recording of the heart with an electrocardiogram, or EKG. Once the healthcare provider diagnoses AFib, treatment can start. This may include starting medications called antiarrhythmics to help maintain a normal rhythm, or performing specialized procedures such as cardioversion, which is a controlled shock to the chest and heart to restore normal rhythm. Another procedure is catheter ablation which uses a catheter or flexible tube to deliver energy to problem areas in the heart that may cause AFib. Healthcare providers often prescribe blood thinners, also known as anticoagulants, to prevent blood clots from forming. There are many tools and treatments to help AFib patients have a high quality of life and good outcomes. Thank you for watching. For more videos and information about AFib, check out our YouTube channel, Heart Rhythm TV, linked below. And visit www.upbeat.org to find an electrophysiologist in your area.